Yasha came in the second act, episode 21. Naging clear na yung plan ni... Well, yung pinaka... strategy ni Kirin dito. His true intent talaga yan. Well, uh, is to destroy all demons in the world. Pero, he needs Rion. Basically, he well, Rion is actually all he needs. Dahil, nakabuo na ng Kyokon fruit si Rion. At gagamitin na niya sana ito sa kanyang tatay na si Kirin Maru. Pero, well, Kirin stopped her there. So, medyo ginoyo ni Kirin into um, uh, creating uh, creating the world that she wants wherein there's there's total peace. Nadala si Rion. So, he con- Kirin conveniently takes Rion to where uh, to where the heart of the Grim Comet is. Siyempre, sumunod si si Riku and eventually si Kirin Maru na mismo. It's revealed here that the Grim Comet is actually a cocoon to something more sinister. It's named the Grim Butterfly. So nakita ni nakita ng ng tatlong bida ito but hey, they were able to to go back to this world. Right? They were able to go back but not without a price because Akuru um Akuru gave his gave his all para mabuksan uli yung porthole para makalo para makabalik yung tatlo that was his final act well, eventually Akuru expired in Towa's arms nakita-kita na sila Inuyasha then sila Jaken so the three girls and um and Inuyasha and Kagome decided na puntahan na ang Grim Butterfly. Well, while this was going on, Kirimaru was able to get inside the Grim Butterfly in hopes of rescuing his daughter. Pero, sinong pumigil? Of course, si Kirin. And, well, basically, nagoyo siya ni, ni Kirin. Kirin gave the full explanation kung bakit kailangan pigilan ang Dog Demon Clan sa sa pag uh, sa pag sa pamamayan pag ng Grim Butterfly which is in which Rion is now the heart of it and well I guess he I guess he um I guess he totally bought Kirin's story for a final showdown that was the final scene Road to the finale na nga talaga. So, let's break that episode down now. Critic sub style. Pace! It was really tense from the get-go. Bakit? Kasi, unti-unti nang, unti-unti nang nabubuo sa isip ko kung ano talaga ang plano ni Kirin. Why he brought the Grim Comet back to the feudal era and why he wants Rion so badly. But do I have complaints, mga ka-lifestyle? Nope. I'm absolutely not. Kasi, these were the exact tense feelings I felt during those um, during those times. Yun nga, especially when uh, the episodes leading up to the final showdown between Inuyasha and Naroko. Eh, and, and Naroko. Wow. Right? Those were tense times. Those were absolutely tense times. And right now, magpa-final showdown pa sila sa Shumaru at Kirin Maru. Ooh! I got no complaints. Well, because I I was able to deep dive right now because of the pacing. Flow naman! Um, first gear shift here was when Kirin was successful in in sales talking Rion into his plan. Again, well, hindi pa, hindi pa naman again. It's a no-brainer of a gear shift, folks. Right now, Kirin is the big bad here. It's not Kirin Maru. Kumbaga, well, 
Why does it make him the big bad? Because later on, he still taught Kirin Maru naman, yung tatay. Ayun, kinunvince siya na the dog demon clan is out here to to kill the grim butterfly and your daughter. Sigurado, yun na sinabi ni sinabi ni Kirin yun. Ginawa niyang unique selling proposition dito si si Rion para lang mapa-oo si Kirin Maru sa plano niya. Second gear ship was ayun na. When Kirin was able to convince Kirin Maru to do his bidding. No brainer of a gear ship, folks. This complete this this one this gear ship will make matters worse for the main protags. Final gear ship. Was of course ayan na. Nag nagkahamon na na for one final duel si Seshumaru at si Kirin Maru. The last one was a stalemate. Eh. Again, it's a no-brainer of a gear ship, folks. It now sets us up for the next episode. Tandaan nyo, road to the finale na tayo. So, every final scene is a setup towards the next one. The next uh, the next episode. Which will eventually lead to the finale. Kaya, like I said a while ago, it's a no-brainer of a gear ship, folks. So, these three gear ships that I saw, yeah, all three will play a role in the final three episodes. Plot-wise. Wala. Walang... Walang side story or backstory dito. So, malinis ang plot, mga ka-lifestyle. Tsaka, um, is it a requirement to to put in a uh, a side story or back or a backstory with this with this uh with this uh with an episode this uh this crucial no kundi masisira eh masisira yung yung momentum going into the next episode and baka masira yeah, masisira ang storyline masisira lang ang storyline ng, ng final 5 episodes all in all. The main continuity should be the main focus of the entire of the, of the storyline at this point. Go to the finale nga eh. And you can't build mo, you can't build momentum into the next episode without this with, without this clean up plot. I tell you mga lifestyle. So, pace, flow, and plot. They all came together for this episode, folks. So, Yashahimi the second act, episode 21. Back to back Fridays. Mm. Two thumbs up. Yashahimi has been featured uh, in back to back Fridays. So, dapat lang. Kasi, we don't know if. Sunrise will give this another season. Pero, sa takbo ng storya, mukhang hindi na eh. So, mga ka-lifestyle, we better enjoy the final three episodes while we can. Kaya, tutukan nyo na. To all Inuyasha fans, please tutukan nyo na ang spin-off na to. We have absolutely no idea kung magagawang pa ng isa pang season ito. From the looks at from the looks of it baka hanggang dito na lang ang Yashahime. And well, it would finally it may give closure to the entire Inuyasha storyline. Kumaga, well, tinuloy lang ng Sunrise ang storyline ng Inuyasha. Kumaga, yan, next gen, the next gen type of continuation which is which is right. And so far, um, the OG characters of Inuyasha, they're, they're, um, they're just, they're just taking a back seat here. Talagang nakafocus ang storyline sa, sa tatlong bida. Right? Which is, which is right. Kung baga, I feel it's passing up the torch time for, for, uh, for the three girls. Because, Seshumaru is deal is going to deal 
um, is going to do business with uh, with with Kirin Maru one more time, and uh, Inuyasha and Kagome are just helping out the three girls achieve their goal of stopping Kirin's plan and saving Rion, or so they think. Okay, so basta final three episodes da po ng Yasha Hime. So tutukan nyo na, especially. Uh, especially the long-time Inuyasha fans like me. So again, Yasha Hime the second act, episode 21. Two thumbs up. Another two thumbs up for Yasha Hime, mga ka lifestyle. Oh oh, utang na loob. Tutukan yun na. Final three episodes na next week. Eh. So Patreon, wait for my next upload regarding this anime. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, yep. Magagawa nyo, edi chill chill lang. Enjoy this review, and well, see you in the next one.